here? I'm working. I'm sorry for nagging you about going to see Bill. It's okay. I didn't mean to get angry at you earlier. It's just that I, I don't know how I'm going to get things back to normal with Belle again. So you do think she's still mad at you? For the way I told everyone was so mean about it, wouldn't you be? I mean, I, I knew it was too easy when she said it was okay at the hospital. I guess you'll forgive us sometime. Anyway, I think we should be nicer and more welcoming to Pippa. She has come all this way to be with us, even if we don't need her. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's Belle. Pippa, uh, Belle wants to know if we can still visit tonight. You serious? Can we please? It's um, busy hours until 8 o'clock. Well, I don't see why not. I've, I've actually invited Miles and Kirsty and Ollie and Jai over for dinner because I'm mm. desperate to catch up, but that means there'll be some nice company here waiting for you when you get back. Cool. Do you think you like a camera? I might get it. <laughs> Look, mate, I know it's been pretty hard to think about what Belle's been going through, but it's just as hard for her to admit that she needs your help. So, given that, it's probably pretty brave of her to invite you, don't you think? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, and it just stayed there. Oh, that's gross. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt this guy's train. Can we have a word? I don't know, sir. Your chats can get pretty dangerous sometimes. Is this another fake confession for me to sign? Get out of it. Yeah, so, let's go and have a chat somewhere, right? So, is this why you switched schools? Because the other kids were big on you. After Mum married John, you got into fitness and training. And you also paid for a gut band, and I lost heaps of weight. But at school, they still wouldn't let up. You know, if anything, they backed me out worse. My dad has done so much for me took a pay cut so we could move here to a new school. I guess I just wanted to show him it was worth it. I, mean, I don't want him to think I'm a loser. So I wanted to make some mates here. And get a girlfriend. You've kind of made a mess of things, haven't you? You've told so many lies here, you're probably finding it really hard to get out of them. John is only standing by me because he thinks I'm not lying. Trey. If you want your stepdad to give you some respect, then you're gonna need to come clean. Then you can start showing him the guy that he's asking you to be. And if you wanna make a change, I reckon you can start from the inside out. doing? He just rushed out of the diner and said he'd meet us here. Oh, that's OK. Look, Annie and Jeff won't be back for over an hour, so there's no hurry, really. Why don't I give Ollie his, and then the rest of us can sit down later? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. OK. How come they went to see Belle after all? Well, thankfully, Belle had a change of heart, which is pretty good for everyone. I'm so sorry. Where were you? I was calling I'll you. I'll explain. <laughs> Hello. I'm so sorry. You'll be mean to say hello to your daughter. Oh, that's all right. I know you've both been frantically busy. Oh, by the way... That's from Sally. I spoke to her the other day. She seems really happy. She is missing the bay like crazy, let me tell you. I miss her. <laughs> Case, Bill, where were you? Well, oh, hang on. Oh, it's Martin. I have to get this. Hey, Martin. Yeah? I'm not sure why. OK. I appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That was Martin. Mm. He's meeting up with Trey's dad now. Again? What is it now? Well, apparently Trey's changed his story. And uh, Martin tends to think that they're going to be dropping both complaints. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Are you joking? Tell I'm me joking. you're not joking, really? It's over. Oh, 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 o
Oh, how did this happen? What did you do? I reckon we get some wine and then I'll tell you. Do you know what okay. the wine is? <laughs> <laughs> I wish someone had told me sooner. Oh, I'm sure they probably just didn't want to worry you. I mean, besides, thanks, there's nothing you could have really done. Even Romy's doctors don't know how it happened. I know, it's just stupid that Romy waiting to hear from Aiden, but of course he's caught up with Nicole and Roman. It makes sense. Yeah, of course. Listen, Belle, I, um... I just wanted to tell you again how sorry I am. Jeff, you don't have to apologise. No, but I do. Yeah, you... I'm really sorry, and I just hope you can forgive me. Already have. Same back? Yeah, we totally forgive you. I almost forgot. I brought your camera. Thought it might help take your mind off things. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Annie. Welcome. Belle, this was left for you. Uh, who brought it in? A young guy, a little while ago. see you but I realised this was the only way I could find the right words for what I'm feeling. When I spent time in the clinic you told me you could only support me as a friend. Although it wasn't what I wanted it turned out to be the right decision in the end. Which is why I need to do the same thing for you now. Belle we can't be together anymore right now. Maybe if I had a different past, I could be the person you need me to be, but I have to accept that I'm not, and I just hope that you can understand that. I know your friends and your courage will get you through this. I'm sorry, and I will always love you. find it hard dealing with Brenda. You want to fix him, but you can't and you never will. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. She's my girlfriend and we're together now. If your sister ever wants to straighten out, could you give my number? Everyone knows homophobes are people who can't accept they're gay. I never picked you for the rebellious type. I guess I'm just realising what's important, aren't I? I always thought you were hot. <laughs> I've lost him and I don't want to have to deal with that right now. That's Liam Murphy. Finally, this place starts to get a little interesting. <laughs>